In this video, we will be uncovering the untold truths about the life of Jacqueline Smith while showing some of her rare photos. Charlie's Angels made her a super successful actress, but do you know she never wanted anything to do with Hollywood? And when she eventually did, it taught her a great lesson about that life that she still holds dear today. What is it? And why does she hate her fellow angels, Kate Jackson and Farrah Fawcett? Let's find out. A simple girl from Houston, Texas, Jacqueline didn't even have the dream of Hollywood until it happened. After she graduated from Trinity University San Antonio, Jacqueline's next plans would be to move to New York to study ballet. It was there that she was discovered by an agent who believed that she was far too beautiful for the life she was caught up with. So he got her involved in modeling work, and in 1971, after a bunch of advertisement gigs, she landed the role of the Breck Girl for Breck Shampoo. Her beauty is commanding, and it won't be long before Jacqueline starts getting a lot of notice from film directors. Soon enough, they had her in her first uncredited film role in the 1969 Goodbye Columbus, and then the following year, she had a more noticeable role in The Adventurers. As you may know, her big break came as Kelly Garrett in the 1976 Charlie's Angels, in which she played alongside Kate Jackson and Farrah Fawcett. The film projected all three stars to superstardom, but as they continued, Jacqueline would be the only angel to stick to the end of the film. After Charlie's, Jacqueline earned her first Golden Globe nomination for her role in the TV film Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy. In 1989, Smith was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. With a career spanning over four decades, Jacqueline Smith has appeared in over 50 films and TV productions. And in all her achievements in Hollywood, she has made it clear that if she had her way, she would have probably done something else. According to her, all of her lies with her first love, dancing. That's where her heart truly is, she said. Jacqueline, in a recent interview, revealed that although Charlie's Angels was a game changer for women in the entertainment industry, a lot of people hated it because it went against the usual industry culture. According to the actress, before Charlie's Angels, women rarely got lead roles in movies. They were either nurses, wives, or mothers, but Charlie's Angels changed the narrative by launching three women as leads in a series. It made her an enemy to a lot of people in the industry, but that she is not so concerned about. She maintains that she is focused on the numerous opportunities it paved for her. And after all these years, she is still madly in love with Charlie's Angels. Maybe that explains why she was the only one who stayed with the series until it ended. In a recent interview with Hollywood Life, Jacqueline revealed that she wouldn't want to be in the show if the opportunity showed up now as she is no longer comfortable with the industry, as so much has changed since she was an angel. It's a different world, she said. I frankly love the time Charlie's was on. It was three networks, it was a family show. It was perfect for me. And another thing, most people are still confused about in Charlie's Angels is the long-standing rumor about a secret feud between these two angels, Jacqueline Smith and Kate Jackson. We all saw how naturally they connected on screen, and Jacqueline would even say that their bond off-screen was even stronger. But on the flip side, Kate's action would force us to think otherwise. She left after the third season with reasons that the show was killing her, and according to her, that could be blamed on a lot of things and people. To add to that, after she left the show, she made sure to sever ties with almost everyone on the show. And the next time anybody saw Kate Jackson again was when Farrah Fawcett died. In Kate's defense, she was tired of Hollywood's fake friendships and wanted time alone to rediscover herself. I've had it with Hollywood's long hours, she said. The politics, the backstabbing, and the gossip. It was not a great town for having your feet on the ground and living a normal life. Jacqueline believes that not so much has changed between them as inconsistent communication does not necessarily make them enemies. And they appeared to prove that when the two angels reunited again after 17 years at the wedding of Jacqueline's son, Gaston, in Los Angeles. We couldn't stop hugging each other, Jacqueline said. It was as if no time had passed. She is a friend for the ages. It goes the distance. And aside from Kate Jackson, Jacqueline Smith may have also had issues with the other angel, Farrah Fawcett. What happened? 1976 was the breakthrough year for the three angels, Jacqueline Smith, Farrah Fawcett, and Kate Jackson. But that same year, Farrah would experience even greater success after she was featured in the best-selling poster of all time. You might think the word jealousy to be too extreme, but there's a big chance that Jacqueline was not so comfortable with her co-angel's newfound success. 
According to the rumors, the poster idea was first pitched to Jacqueline as Farah had a history of being very sensitive with her looks, but she turned it down. Kate was also not so comfortable with showing too much skin, so they had to find a way to convince Farah. The late actress only agreed to do it if it would be done on her terms. So she did her makeup and hair, chose her outfit, and after the shoot, she picked out the photo to be used. Fast forward to today, that iconic poster has sold over 12 million copies. Farrah's newfound fame immediately crowned her as the most valuable angel, and it sure would be hard for Jacqueline not to consider a lot of what-ifs. Anyway, the poster was also a major reason why Fawcett was forced to leave the show. With this in perspective, maybe it was not such a bad idea for Jacqueline to decline. But aside from the issues she had with the other angels, Jacqueline Smith also faced a lot of challenges in her relationship life. Jacqueline Smith has had her fair share of heartbreaks and relationship meltdowns, a kind of necessary ritual for fame in Hollywood. The Texas native has been in four marriages and multiple broken relationships. Her first marriage was with actor Roger Davis. They got married in 1968 and were together for five years. Their love turned sour with multiple failed media attempts to write a story that either one of them was cheating. It got frustrating at some point as neither of them could tell what each was doing during movie trips. Soon, they didn't know what to believe, and in 1975, they divorced. A year later, Jacqueline found love on the set of Charlie's Angels, and in 1978, she tied the knot with Dennis Cole an American actor who guest starred in the film. They were together for three years and in 1981, she divorced him, citing irreconcilable differences. She got married that same year to filmmaker Tony Richmond. The couple welcomed their first child, Gaston, in 1982 and a daughter, Spencer Margaret, in 1985. Their marriage lasted for eight years, they went separate ways in 1989. Nevertheless, Jacqueline Smith found her happily ever after with cardiothoracic surgeon Brad Allen. They have been married for over 26 years now, and the actress is grateful to her mom for making all this happen. According to her, she was the one who encouraged Brad to talk to her during their visit to the hospital. So he ended up walking her down to the garage, and after a few months, he would also walk her down the aisle. Who would have dreamed it could have happened? He's kind, and I saw a purity of heart, Jacqueline Smith said on why she married her husband. Going the distance is great, because you build a history and memories. We have similar values and upbringing. I want this one forever, she added. Jacqueline Smith recently celebrated her 77th birthday, and the actress acknowledges that it was a miracle that she lived this long. 20 years prior, she stood face to face with death, and at moments like this, not even money was enough comfort. In 2003, Smith went for a casual examination at the hospital, and there she was faced with very discomforting news. They found lumps in her breasts, and with further tests and analysis, it was revealed as cancer. At that point, I was overwhelmed by fear, Jacqueline admits. You know the word cancer, but you don't just want to ever associate yourself. Her kids came to her mind almost immediately. Her daughter was only 16 at that time, and her son was 20. She feared that no one would be able to love them like her if she died. It was definitely going down as the worst summer of her life, but ironically, after all these were over, it turned out to be the most productive. The prescribed treatment for her condition was a lumpectomy followed by radiation. It took eight weeks of radiation to get her back in perfect shape again, but it was a horrible procedure. In all, she is most thankful for the love and support she got from her family and friends. Believe it or not, Jacqueline Smith is thankful that cancer and all it brought happened. She thinks of it as a wake-up call to count her blessings and reshuffle her priority list. Having cancer does make you try to be better at everything you do and enjoy every moment. It changes you forever, but it can be a positive change. And talking about health priorities, it seems Jacqueline Smith has always been like this since she was a young chap, so much so that she went against conventional Hollywood beliefs about plastic surgeries. I bet you saw it too. Jacqueline Smith had round, wide eyes in the first seasons of Charlie's Angels, but as they returned for the second run, they were almost a perfect almond shape. Stories started swelling, and everyone wondered if she got a brow lift. Still, from all her confessions and interviews, Jacqueline strongly emphasized that she hated all types of surgeries and didn't recommend any at all. 
so on Hollywood, but the actress said her upbringing won't allow her to do such. So how does she maintain her youthful appearance? Well, Jacqueline credits her youthful appearance to an uncomfortable procedure called Botox, where she injects her fat into her face. According to her, she is scared to death about Botox. She believes that if you do it over and over again, it collapses the muscle. But, well, she still does it. However, Botox is not the only thing to credit for her youthful grace. Her diet, of course, also has a vital role to play in all of these, even though most times, dieting can be very frustrating for Jacqueline. I try to be healthy, but damn it's hard. I mean, I don't drink or smoke. So can I have some cookies? She lamented. I guess you can now guess why she's combining it with Botox. Her winning diet features scrambled eggs on toast in the morning and fish or chicken with lots of vegetables in the evening. So Jacqueline Smith at 77 looks nowhere near her age and this is her beauty recipe. Jacqueline has watched her life drift time and time again beyond her control and far from what she envisioned. First she wanted to be a dancer, then the winds blew her to acting, and when the acting business was not so flourishing, she would become another thing that pissed off a lot of people. Charlie's Angels remains her biggest role to date, but contrary to what many believe, Jacqueline was still able to manage herself well after the series ended. Her first feature after Charlie's was in the CBS TV movie of the week, Escape from Bogan County, and her biggest success afterward was in Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy, for which she earned a Golden Globe nomination for the Best Actress. Smith was probably scared of the possibility of bankruptcy if she continued this way. That was why she saw the need to diversify her earnings. So, in 1981, she signed a contract with Kmart, which was the second largest retailer in the US at that time. They asked her to be their face for budget sportswear for women. A lot of people revolted against this, but the actress stuck with her guts. 30 years later, 100 million women have purchased an item from Smith's line and her fashion company is valued for millions and millions of dollars. If you do it for the paycheck, walk away. It doesn't work, Jacqueline advises young entrepreneurs. It's the day-to-day -day details. It's becoming part of the company. Her angel days were exciting, but Jacqueline has revealed that she thought there was no greater joy than what she felt after having her kids. But she was wrong. Being a grandma was even more exciting. The actress welcomed her granddaughter, B in September 2016, and it brought such great thrill to her aging bones. And with the birth of her second granddaughter in 2019, Jacqueline tweeted that she was over the moon. Jacqueline Smith's life was far from perfect, but she is grateful that everything turned out the way it did. The actress has learned to smuggle out time from her busy schedule to focus on things that matter, a lesson she learned from cancer. These days, the actress channels most of her energy and attention in her fashion brands, and her last appearance on the screens was in January 2019 when she reprised her role as Kelly for a cameo appearance in the 2019 feature film Charlie's Angels. Jacqueline Smith, now 77, seems to be aging backward, and she still retains all her youthful exuberance. The celebrity actress and businesswoman has an estimated net worth of $150 million. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other videos of beautiful women from the yesteryears on the end screen.